In this video, we are going to take a look at seven reasons why not to move to Somerville, South Carolina. I know you're probably wondering, why would I tell you this? Well, I believe you should have all the facts to make an informed decision. The last thing I want to happen is for me to help you buy the perfect home and then you regret it. Don't get me wrong, Somerville is a wonderful place to live and it was just ranked number one by Fortune Magazine. But with all that being said, Somerville isn't for everyone. A lot of people move here and a lot of people leave. But if you are leaving Somerville, it's possibly because some of these reasons that you just can't handle. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy Walsh with Jeff Cook Real Estate and on this channel we talk about all things real estate, all things about Charleston, South Carolina and the Tri-County area. If you want to know more about the easy living in the low country, then I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel by clicking that notification and every time I upload a new video, you will get notified. I absolutely love helping people relocate to Somerville and Charleston. We have so much to offer here. I get so many calls and texts and emails every day and I absolutely love it. Nothing makes me happier, so feel free to reach out and contact me. My information is below. All right, let's get started. Number one, the heat. Those of you relocating may think that you love the idea of hot and a humid climate, but then when you open the front door and it hits you in the face for the first time, you may be thinking, this is awful. How can I deal with this? Our worst months are July and August. Trust me, it is the end of July and it is hot here. You won't hear me complain about the heat. I will take it in exchange for a mild winter any day. It is really not that bad. Homes and stores and restaurants all have great air conditioning. While it does get hot and humid here, it does not last forever. Number two, the bugs. We have everything from mosquitoes to love bugs to no to palmetto bugs. If bugs creep you out, which they probably will. We have pest control companies that will come out and spray your home and your yard. You do need to realize that bugs are a common thing here in the low country. Number three, the traffic. The traffic has gotten a lot worse over the last five to seven years. There's a lot of accidents and there's a lot of traffic, but it's nothing like Boston and Miami or New York. There are a lot of opportunities and jobs bringing a lot of people to this area. So yeah, there's going to be traffic, so you are just going to have to get used to it. But if you work from home, you won't even notice it. Number four, roundabouts, also known as traffic circles or rotaries in other parts of the country. Trust me, moving here from a small little country town, roundabouts were probably the hardest thing for me to get used to. They are just so darn tricky. A little bit of advice to help you. Always make sure you yield when entering. They're not gonna stop for you. Don't get into the middle and stop. Just keep going around until you get to the right exit. If you get flustered, exit off and regroup and try again. Now people will start to stare after you've gone around about three and four times. <laughs> Number five, Somerville has a lot of homeowners associations, also known as HOA. I hear a lot of people talk and say, I don't want an HOA. The first thing that people will say is, I don't want someone telling me what color I can paint my house or what kind of flowers I can plant, uh, telling me whether or not I can put up a fence. What you need to understand is HOAs are put in place to protect the equity in your home. They protect your neighborhood. A lot of newer neighborhoods do have the HOAs. That means you can't park your vehicle in the middle of the yard and ruin the grass. You aren't going to be able to paint your house purple. Anything that would hurt the equity of your home or your neighbor's home. The HOA is not there to nitpick and ruin your fun. They are there to protect you and your investment. Number six, restaurant options. If you are a foodie, well, Somerville may not be the best place for you. The good thing is there are hundreds and hundreds of amazing restaurants in the Charleston area for you to choose from. Number seven, Somerville is red. South Carolina in general is all about God, guns, family, and America. If you are not patriotic, then Somerville and Charleston are definitely not for you. 
you are going to see American flags practically out all year round. Tons of churches here to choose from, and there are a lot of people with strong Christian beliefs. We are all about family and our children. We are all about our children having a good, solid education and being safe. Now, we are an open carry state, so if you are coming from an anti-gun state, you are going to learn very quickly that is not the way we do it here in South Carolina. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the list of reasons why you may or may not want to move here. I can help you or anyone you know find a home here in the Somerville or Charleston area that fits your lifestyle. Let's talk. Just reach out and give me a call at 843-718-4285 and be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you will get a notification. I am Nancy Walsh, your Change of Life Realtor. If you would like to see properties, you can also go to my website, findyourcharlestonareahome.com. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time.